hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please can let subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started so over here i'm using 1080 by 1080 pixels and the resolution is 300 so now i'm going to copy the color code to so go to your test document and here is the color code ctrl plus c to copy in. then select your test tool go to your fill color then select solid color ctrl plus b to paste then go to your resource file and we are going to import the church logo reduce it then ctrl plus v to paste oh sorry go back to your test document then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then highlight this one ctrl plus a then ctrl plus v to paste Now change the font color to white and the alignment change it to left. Now reduce the font size. And the space, we are going to reduce the space here by 4%. Then on the character spacing, then we are going to make it 0%. Then this all cap here, we are going to remove it. Okay, so now, hold your shift key while you select the test and the logo. Then Ctrl plus G to group it. Now, Ctrl plus A to select all. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to select. So now we are going to select our test tool. Then go back to your test document and copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to increase the character spacing by 400%. Then reduce the font size. Something like this, okay. Then go back to select on the menu, select all, Ctrl plus A as a shortcut. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then go back to your menu. Then deselect Ctrl plus D. That is a shortcut. Okay. Then so now go back to the background and go to your resource file. We are going to select this background over here. Then you bring it down. Then go to your blending mode and change it to hard light. Then select apply your layer mask. Then select your gradient tool. Then make sure that your color here is black and white like this. Then you click OK. Now you can now blend it. Okay. So then go back to your resource file. And we are going to import this one over here. Then you bring it down, scale it a little, then change the blending mode to overlay. Apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and apply it at the top here. Just like this. It's okay. So then now the next thing we are going to do. Then we are going back to our resource file. 
then and we are going to apply this image here then reduce the size then you drag it up over here reduce it then go to your blending mode and change it to add light then reduce the opacity to 30 percent apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then and then blend it okay something like this then the next one we are going to import this one over here and reduce the size then you drag it up over here then change the blending mode to hard light and reduce the opacity to 30 percent then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool or you press g that is a shortcut on the keyboard so something like this okay so the next thing now then we are going to bring our test again so go back to your test over here then you copy this one control plus c to copy now select your test tool the control plus v to paste now we are going to change this color to red and close the character spacing by zero percent then we are going to change the font and the font we are going to use here is England Signature now increase the font size like this okay just like this all right so the next test we are going to bring then we are going to copy this one then control plus c to copy now then we are going to use test effect on this one so this is the test effect i'm going to use so you can check it in the description and download it now i'm going to to highlight this one then control plus v to paste then reduce the size something like this okay now i'm going to close it then yes to save it then hold your shift key plus control plus alt key then you press e on your keyboard so it will group the layer then now i'm going to drag it over here and bring it then something like this then drag it down to come back to be below the test okay so like this and this one i'm going to apply a drop shadow then i'm going to reduce the spread here to around 17 percent then click ok so go back to your test document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool so now i'm going to reduce the font size so enter 12 here that's 12 percent to reduce it then control plus v to paste and i'm going to change 
the font here so alberta then change the font color to red and I will position it over here okay so the next then I'm going to select a rent angle here and I will draw a rent angle over here remove the fill color then apply stroke color and increase the size by two percent then apply a shape to it a round shape corner okay so something like this so the next i'm going to convert it to smart objects right click and rasterize it then i'm going to select my market tool now i'm going to alight this area then you delete ctrl plus d to deselect now i'm going to select a triangle and i'm going to create a triangle like this then change the color to red and i'm going to rotate it then position it over here So this is what I have here. All right. So now I'm going to select my test tool. Then go to your test document and copy team. Control plus C to copy. Then change the font color to white. Okay. Now we are going to paste it. Control plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. And rotate it vertical. Right. So now I'm going to hold my control key while i select the right angle then apply vertical and horizontal alignment to centralize the test inside the right angle now i'm going to select this one all together then bring it back like this for now then go back to your test tool to select your test tool and copy the team over here control plus c to copy then we are going to paste this one now control plus z to paste and we are going to change the font here to this font so all the fonts are listed here in the in the test documents so these are the fonts and I will leave it in the description. So now I'm going to increase the font size. Okay, something like this. All right. So the next I'm going to do, then I'm going to apply a drop shadow. So the spread here, I'm going to increase it to 42%. Then to give me this, and I'm going to apply it. Now hold your shift key while you select it to the right angle. Now click here to group it. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. All right. So the next one, I'm going to draw a right angle.
they change the color to red then come over to your test document and copy this test here so there is a description then select your test tool the control plus v to paste and we are going to change the font to a vertical and make this one bold now reduce the font size So that is it. All right. So now we are going to our date and time now. Then copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Then change the font to a vertical insert. Then go back to your font, I mean your test, your resource file, and import this icon. Reduce the size. Then control plus U for hue and saturation. Then drag this one over here to change the background color to white. Now let's go back to your test and I'm going to duplicate it. Control plus control plus J to duplicate. Then highlight it, control plus A. Then come over here to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Control plus V to paste. Now select this one. And we are going to apply superscripts. Something this way. Now increase the size just a little to align with the other test okay so now we are going to duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate while you also drag it down and we are going to copy this one control plus c to copy then select your test to align this one Control plus V to paste. Then now we are going to reduce the font size. Then you drag it up here. Okay. So Position this one around here. Hold your shift key while you select it, then and increase the size. Something like this. Then I'm going to select the icon and reduce the size of the icon. Now go back to your resource file and Import this icon for time, reduce the size, the control plus U for hue on saturation, and you drag this one to change the color to white. Now we are going to <coughs> duplicate this one, control plus J to duplicate it. Then drag it up to be above. And 
then you drag this one over here then apply your pick your test tool and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus a to select this one <laughs> now ctrl plus v to paste okay before then i'm going to remove this this one over here remove that cap here all right then i'm going to select this one and now i'm going to reduce the size of that one and something like this okay then i'm going to click then remove the the character spacing by zero percent now i'm going to increase the size like this all right so now i'm going to select this one then hold your shift key then scroll down to your dates now group it then go to select on the menu select all then we are going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it you can see as it moves then go back to select and deselect select control plus d as a shortcut key all right so now the last one then we are going to import the location icon then reduce the size then ctrl plus u and drag this one to apply white background color so the next thing we are going to copy our test ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and now we are going to change the font to a vertical then ctrl plus v to paste then you bring it over this position then drag this one down then we are going to reduce the space a little five percent is okay or let's leave it by six percent now select this one hold your sheet while you select it then group it go to select on the menu select all apply vertical alignments then ctrl plus d to deselect and you will now have something like this so go back to data time use your arrow key then to bring it down this way then you will have something like this so now the last things we are going to do now go back to your background here then we are going to our source file and import this light so over here then i'm going to my blending option and apply screen okay
something like this so you can see the differences there you can see the differences now i'm going to apply my layer mask so apply your layer mask and blend the bottom over here because there is a line that is appearing then so you blend it okay so guys that is all about this tutorial so thank you so much for watching if you like this video please kindly share it subscribe and like it so thank you so much and stay tuned for my next video